Have you ever wanted to place more relevance on a single term or phrase within your search query? If so, then you can use boosting to influence the relevancy ranking of your search results. For example, if you're searching for three terms, but you want to place more importance and relevance on one of those three terms, you can boost that term using the caret symbol. And the caret symbol is shift plus six on your keyboard. Many often ask, what is the range for boosting? Do the numbers go between 1 and 10 or 1 and 100? How does the boosting algorithm work? For example, if you boost a term by 5, does that mean the search term is going to appear 5 times more often in my results? So let's explain the logic behind boosting. Boosting is effectively applying a multiplier to the relevancy ranking given to the boosted term in a specific query. So when a search is performed, each result is thus given a score for how well it fulfills that query as a whole. Now the results are then ranked and displayed based on that scoring. So adding boosting to a term causes the results with that term to be scored higher, and therefore they're going to be displayed higher in the relevancy ranking of your results. Now it doesn't change the results you receive in terms of how many results you receive. It only changes the order in which they appear when they are sorted using relevance. Now furthermore, there is not a specific allowable range for boosting. Its usage can vary based on the size and the scope of different queries. However, what we recommend is numbers in the range of 1 to 5 as these typically produce the most recognizable results. So now let's take a look at an example and see how this works. We want to find documents that discuss Obamacare, the individual mandates that are part of that plan, as well as the discussions surrounding Medicare. So from the Hein Online Welcome page, we're going to do the search in this search box here. And what we're going to insert is Obamacare, Boolean Operator, and Individual mandate. And I'm going to use a wildcard at the end of that so we can accommodate for mandates, close quotes, Boolean operator, and Medicare. And click search. And this gives, gives us 157 results here. Now we can look at the view matching text pages of our first few results to see our terms. So when we we click on that, we see Obamacare, Individual Mandate, Medicare, and you'll notice our first result here is Long Strange Trip from FIU Law Review. Then we have an article, Cost Benefit Federalism from the American Journal of Law and Medicine. We have a result from the Congressional Record here. Now that we have our results, let's say we want to manipulate the relevancy ranking of these results and we want to pull to the top of our results list articles that discuss in more detail Obamacare as it pertains to Medicare. So what we want to do is boost our term Medicare in the search. So if we go back up to our search box here, we've still got Obamacare and individual mandate with our wildcard character and Medicare. Now I'm going to add the boosting to the term Medicare. So I'm going to use the caret symbol, which is shift six on the keyboard. And I'm going to use 5 and click search. Now you'll notice we get the same 157 results here, but the relevancy ranking of our results is different. So we're not seeing those first few articles that we saw in our last search. Now we're seeing an article from Syracuse Law Review, from Duquesne Law Review, and when we click view matching text pages, to view our terms, you'll notice in the text of the articles that the term Medicare, which is the term we boosted, shows up a lot more frequently within the article than the other terms. So we can use this boosting to influence the relevancy ranking of our search results list and bring articles and documents to the top of our list that discuss a term more heavily than another term in our query.